Good morning, this is Stacey's Dog Grooming News and I'm your host Bob. Our first story today would be the fact that the electricity company has finally connected our electricity. It turns out that the best way to get anything done with Electricity Northwest is simply to put in a complaint. The complaint team will rush through the job very quickly and sort everything out. With the electricity now back on, our landlord has already started making repairs to the salon. He's having to put in a, a fire ceiling and a sound insulation ceiling that would go above our false ceiling that we usually have. With regards to the insurance, um, when you send an email and a couple of phone calls, text messages, and uh, don't get replies, it's uh, often because your loss adjuster has gone on holiday. That seems to be keeping in theme with our luck and the progress of this kind of situation. In other news, Stacey's been doing a few more home grooms as well as working at the Posh Pooch's Parlour dog grooming salon on Sunday. To go over some details that are, might have been a bit confusing, when we are working in the salon, we have got an electronic diary all kept online. This diary has obviously been booked out with dogs throughout the year. This diary has not been touched whatsoever. Anyone who's got any bookings for the rest of the year, they are all still booked in. However, I think the confusion has come when we tell people this. These are not your home grooms though. If you're wanting home grooms, we have set up a separate diary, a paper diary that Stacey keeps the records on. And if you've got a booking in our electronic diary for the salon, when it gets to that date, it doesn't automatically mean you'll have a home group. We're booking home grooms when and as we can. Some dogs we aren't able to do at home, so we have to then put them in, in the Sunday salon. As well as the restrictions on how many we can do and the types of dogs we can do, we also have the problem of not wanting to book too far ahead in advance. If we book too far ahead in advance, when we reopen the salon, we it's going to be a confusing mess of people booked in for home grooms as well as people still being booked in for the salon. On the topic of home grooms, we do get quite a lot of people asking about how the payments work. Our payment machine was destroyed in the fire, so all payments are currently being made by cash on the day of the, the groom. On the note of home grooms, we are asking people to bath and dry the dog the night before, and then on the day it will just simply be a dry cup for us to do. This is obviously to keep the speed up, also, we don't know what the facilities are like at people's houses. Obviously, the prices will be reflected in the fact that we're no longer doing the bath and dry for you. On rare occasions, we can help and do this. However, this needs to be discussed beforehand. And on the last note, we would like to apologise that whilst there's been a lot of people contacting us, we've not managed to get back to everybody. Also, we do realise that we are putting people on lists to get back to and we might not be getting back to you as fast as we would like. The reason is we are doing other things uh, regarding the salon in the background as well as Stacey going to do home grooms. If we have not contacted you and you're expecting us to contact you, by all means do chase up with a text message. If anyone's got any other questions about the home grooms or anything we can help with or dealing with the dogs, if, the, if there's an extended term between grooms, Feel free to ask us in the comments below. I've been Bob, this is Stacey's Dog Grooming News.